What's up, this is Mad Child from Swollen Members, Battle Axe Warriors, and now a solo artist. You're watching Action Recon. What's up, Action Recon here in Toronto, Canada. Mad Child on tour right now with Tech 9 What's up, brother? Exclusive interview. We're gonna wrap this underway right now. Dope Sick, the album. Seems to me that is a end product of a lot of strife and a lot of hard times. Was that album, when you wrote it, kind of like act as a way of therapy for you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the whole process of making the album was therapeutic and, and one thing that's been really really therapy for me as well is being open and talking about my addiction and what I went through. Um, at first I just started talking freely about it but realized the effect that it was having on other people's lives. Um, so many fans, I can't tell you how many and I, if it's okay I'll just refer to my our, our fans and my fans as my friends and family because that's how I feel about them. So, so many friends and family members have come up and shared how my experience and, and what I went through has helped them to either get on the right path or decide that they want to make steps towards getting, living a, a, a better lifestyle, get, you know, stopping the substance abuse. I, I, can't, I can't tell you how much it, it, people have told me that there's, my story has helped them. So that's very therapeutic for me as well. Getting to talk about it, I mean, I think one of the things about being sober and clean is, you know, constantly reflecting on the situation, you know, what you went through and where you're at now and why that is and what it takes, you know, to, to, to get back on a good road. So it's, it's constant reminder for me. I think any advice or any sort of pointers, ways you deal with it, from just day to day to day, because I know it's a constant struggle. Right? Well, yeah, and especially, especially being a musician, being on the road, going on tour, you know, all the time people are offering me uh, coke or pills or whatever they have in their little packages that they try to hand to me and I'm just like, no thanks. And I don't drink anymore either. It's not because I can't drink, I could drink if I want to. The reason I don't drink is because I feel I now have a responsibility that people are looking to me to say, hey, he's enjoying life, he's happy, things are great, which I am. I'm happier than I've ever been without all the crap. And it's been two years now without drinking or drugs. And the first year was tough, but the second year has been so amazing. And every day now, man, it's just a reward. Like getting to do interviews is a reward. Getting to be on tech tour with Tech Nine is a reward. Like people uh, appreciating my album, that's a reward. So being clear headed and getting to remember everything that happened is so much better than being, you know, your eyes popping out of your head in another fucking stratosphere. Where does this thing stand with you getting back into the United States? Are you going to be able to get down there and tour? Yeah, we're working on it. Uh, me and Kevin Zinger are working on it. I think we're a few months away from me getting back in, so let's hope for the best. Yeah. I'm praying I can get back in because it's very important uh, for the things that I want to achieve and accomplish to get back into America and tour. How's this tour been going so far? How have the fans reacted to Dope Sick? I mean, the new tracks and stuff. It's been overwhelming, bro. Yeah. It's been amazing. Like, honestly, uh, first of all, Tech Nine and Chris Calico are some of the fiercest lyricists on the planet. Uh, some of my favorite MCs, and to find out how great of people they are and how uh, amazing they are just as human beings is uh, it's awesome. And then to go on tour with them, I'm learning so much from this tour. And then the fans and the, and everybody out in the crowd, all my all my family out there, just knowing the words of the songs and going crazy during the shows. It's a reward, bro. Yeah. Judgment Day, can you talk about that song, kind of what it's about, so you're, what inspired you to write it, and um, the woman that sings the hook on that song is a beautiful voice. How Sophia, did you yeah. That? Well, the producer of that track, uh, Chin, who is a, just a genius, he uh, produces for Dr. Dre, Eminem, Slaughterhouse, Nas, Drake, you name it. Uh, we're fortunate enough to have him from our own city in Vancouver, and he works with all the big dogs. So uh, to get to do a song and make more music with him, first of all, is an honor because he is a genius. And uh, Sophia is who sings on the chorus and will be singing on future choruses of songs that I'm working on right now with them. It's so incredible. They just gave me the track and it was done. When I sat down and wrote that song, it literally took five minutes. I just sat down and the chorus was already there for me and it made so much sense to me uh, when I, you know, I, I thought of it in terms of how my life is. 
the li lyrics just poured out. I literally wrote that song and uh, literally wrote that song in five minutes. This album seems you got a lot, a lot of you rapping on there, but yeah, I mean you did work with guys like Slain. Yeah, you did work with yeah. I know Sea Lance produced Monster. Yeah, um, how was it working with those guys? How did you go sort of about choosing people that you wanted to work with on the album? Yeah, Sea Lance is incredible. He also produced uh, Grenade Launcher and Devil's Reject, so he produced the free, for, first three tracks and I believe he did another one as well. Um, working with, I chose to work with Slane because I had an immediate connection with Slane when we went on tour with La Coca Nostra. La Coca is one of my favorite groups and uh, Ill Bill and Slane are two of my favorite MCs and Everlast is a legend. I know he's not in the group now, but still to me, um, Everlast is incredible. His whole career is, somewhat, is a career that anyone could look to and be like, what an awesome body of work and an awesome career. He's a true legend. And uh, I very much look up to Everlast. And like I said, Slain and Ill Bill and Danny Boy's a super cool motherfucker. That guy is a genius. Danny Boy is a genius with uh, coming up with the concepts and putting together the designs. Like that guy's like the cool, ultimate of cool. Like, you know what I mean? Like he's on shit way before everybody else. Anyways, I'm doing an album with Slain. That was going to be my next question. Yeah. I heard something about that. Right, yeah, so we're going to do an album to together. And, and, and Slane to me is like, I just love his flow. I just love his style. Um, it's just such a character. And you, even when you see him in the movies, that's like his real character almost that he's playing. You know what I mean? It's so natural. And I think uh, he's had a great career being in the movies and, and uh, an incredible MC. And it'll be an honor to work with him for sure. Everybody's running.